You too, what's poppin'? It's like being on Valentina back at it again with another video. Come on, come back. Once again, shit. I got one of the bros finna, you know what I'm saying? Pull up on me. Finna see who it is in just a second. Who rolled up on your boy? Yeah, that way. Let's see. You know what I mean? Beautiful day out here. Beautiful day. My boy, I'm going down. Yo, boy. Yeah, I hey, 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 hey. Hot as hell out here today, bro. Nigga! That's what I said. Oh, God. I had walked out here. I'm like, dang, I couldn't even see out here, bro. Uh, yeah, it's it's retarded. Yeah, it's cool. What you trying to get into? First off, you gotta get some meat. Yeah, for sure. We finna probably go get something to eat, y'all. I mean, we finna go see what we finna go do. And then I'm gonna get back to y'all in just a sec. Shit, man, we back at it, y'all. I mean, we done found a mutual agreement on some food. We finna end up falling in the wing stop. Mm. I mean, can't go wrong with wing stop, bro. Wanna live? Like, yeah. I mean, right, my bad. Yeah, he gonna bust that you back there. Oh, bust that you right yeah, here. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, so we finna go get some wing stop. We're going right down the street. We finna go on max out. Y'all, summer literally starts June 21st. That's crazy. Today is June 3rd. Like, summer hasn't even started yet in Texas, bro. And it's like 90, at least 90 something out here. Like, and summer hasn't really even officially started yet, y'all. Like, it's hot as hell out here. Like, luckily, shit, if you a Texan, you know your air better be working good out here in the summertime. And oh, so, we good right now. His shit blowing cold. <laughs> and it's not even hot. Bro, what? Hot. Luckily, though. Last time I did a video like this, y'all, I did the uh, video with Soul Wavy, y'all. My phone, like, I don't know if y'all can tell, like, I had to cut it a couple times. Like, well, I didn't even necessarily cut it myself. But, like, the heat made my phone, like, you know what I'm saying? My phone overheated pretty much. Like, I had to put the phone, like, on the air, like, post it up on the air like this and let it cool down because it was so hot outside. And that was a while ago, like, and it's just hotter from then. Like, it was wild. What you been on out there? The soul wavy. What's going on? They can see it. The soul wavy shirt. Keep the, the soul, soul wavy, wavy, baby. Yeah. If y'all ain't seen this merch, yeah. go grab this merch. You know what I mean? The soul wavy. I'm pretty sure it's on his Instagram somewhere, so it ain't no excuse. So why you, or you ain't can, seen it, or why you, you know what I mean? Or you can contact him. Exactly. Contact him at soul wavy. But what you was on today, though, bro? Before you had came and came this way. Just on my laptop, man, chilling. Yeah. Looking at uh, you know what I'm saying? Looking at games. See what baseball games is coming up? Cause um, I like to play like fantasy and stuff. Right, 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 you know right. Fans and stuff. So I like to, I like to put lineups in on my spare time. So you not on just like football and basketball fantasy teams? You on um, like? I, I play. I play. I mean, I'm not a part of a fantasy team. Like I, I play like daily. Right. It's a daily thing. Right. You know what I'm saying like it's not no season long thing. Right. I, I got a homeboy. If you want me to do football season long, but I'm like, I, I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna be able to keep up with that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You gotta keep up with injuries and mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like it's. You're gonna make a living for like. Yeah. Yeah. I like daily, and it's fun too. It's be something to do. Yeah, for sure. Take you aside from uh, you know doing music and stuff like that in your free time for sure. I know a lot of people that be doing that. And, and um, it's investing money because you do win money. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You invest in the players. Right. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta hope players do good. At the end of the day. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm in a way it's like you're wasting the, wasting money only only when you don't hit. Right. When you hit, it's like oh damn I just turned. Five dollars from the two hundred. Yeah, quick. Like, oh God, on the right, on the right shit. If you know yeah. the right shit, or like I said, if the player doing what they supposed to be doing. Is what I'm saying. Like, quick like, money. Uh, I'm like, well, I mean, it's negatives and positives, but like when you hit, yeah, you be hit. Yeah, you just relying on players. My cousins be showing me that shit. Like niggas be betting like. I know, like, that's what anything, like, when you bet high, you hit high, like, yeah. I think he showed me somebody bet, like, 400 or something on that high, I yeah. think they want, like, six bands, you bro, know what, what? It's, about, it's about taking risks, yeah, for sure, smart, right. risk, smart risk, don't be stupid, 
Yeah. Don't be, don't be putting up the rent money. Nah, for, nah, for real. <laughs> like, put up, put up something that you're comfortable with losing. Yeah, exactly. Like, you're right about that. I'm comfortable with losing this hundred. It's not gonna hurt me too much. You, you, do you ever been like to, to a casino or something like that before? One time. Where, uh, where was it at? Uh, Oklahoma. Which one you got to? I don't know. You don't know. Whichever one. Like yeah. my, my home my homeboy, uh, my homeboy's name took me. Yeah. For uh, my graduation uh, from college. Oh shit, I ain't know you went to college. That's what's yeah, up, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What you were studying? Uh the, the first degree, man, that motherfucker. Never go to college for a business degree, bro. You don't need one. Free game right there. Y'all heard it from him. That. Free game. Do not do that. Take notes. Matter of fact, I'm gonna be real with y'all, bro. Like, if it was up to me now, I would have never went. I went just to go, and I'm like, you know what? My mom, she don't have nobody in her. You know what I'm saying? None of her kids went to college and graduated. Right. You know, I had a cousin that did that. Right. I seen, I seen how she did. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do that. Just, just, just for status, just to say I, I did it. Right. And also, like, I embraced the challenge. I was right. like, can I do this? Let me see if I can do this. Right. And I did it. You see what I'm saying? Like, actually, I graduated from two of them. Uh, a junior college and a UTA. Right. UTA. You know what I'm saying? Like, but if I could redo it, I probably wouldn't have went, knowing, knowing where I know now. Right. But I enjoyed it because I met a lot of people. Like, I got a lot of close, close friends from college that I'm still, still cool with. Matter of fact, you, you don't stay too far from me. Stay I feel like I was driving to this crib for a minute. <laughs> yeah. I, had to look, I had to look at the address. I'm like, damn, I put the wrong one in. Am I driving to my car? And it's crazy, bro, because it's like Dallas, a, a big city, but it's like it's really like a small city, yeah. kind of, bro. Like everybody like know each other, or like you say, like you can go to somebody's house and be like, damn, I know somebody that stay in this neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Somebody stay around here mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to this crib. That's why I checked my phone. I was like, damn, did I put the wrong address? <laughs> I was like, oh. Anybody got could have got in that specific position, you know what I'm saying? Like exactly. they don't have no good credentials to back on their background for that. Like, but somehow it's just I in it. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but a lot of people didn't go to college, bro. So yeah. I mean, that's what's up that you even went. Like me yeah. personally, I never even went to college. So it's like you able to at least say you went. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So that's still that's still a milestone, though, yeah, bro. True. At the end of the day, you know you don't have college debt. Say, so, hey, man, that man's putting that, that free you know, game today on this college. Saturday, man. <laughs> I'd rather be in your seat with no college debt. You're right about that, though. I don't got no college debt. You're right, but you got a little more on your background oh, yeah, that you can yeah. that you can speak about, though. Right there where that, uh, yeah, this one right here. Right? Left, right here. Oh, right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, like, you Y'all, we pulling up to the wing stop. We finna get ready to run in, grab our food, and I'm gonna catch y'all in just a minute real quick. Y'all, we just left out a wing stop. I'm talking about it wasn't no way. No way. No way in that mud. It ain't no cars out here either. You probably was the first customer. Well, it's still a little, a little early in the day too, so you know, we probably just got it in. Look, look, it ain't no cars out here, y'all. They was about to close and they seen us and they turned the fire. Well, they turned the fire on, y'all. The fire was off. <laughs> oh, God. But luckily, though, it ain't even take that long for real, though. It really was in and out there, man. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't really missing nothing. So y'all, y'all, y'all ain't missing too much. This meat go hard, though, bro, right here. Oh, yeah. When you make this? I have no idea. <laughs> I, can't, I don't know. This year? Yeah. Oh, so it was like, probably like some months or some weeks. Yeah, maybe, maybe a few months. Oh, okay, okay. Definitely a few months. It's not hard though, bro. I, I like the I like the mixed up like 
I try to get out of the out of the tight beat phase. Yeah. I'm gonna stay right. Yeah. I try to get out of the tight beat phase. Right. Because like, it, it takes away a, a producer's true creativity. You're right about that. You try to sound like somebody else. Like, no, like, I don't want to do it. Like, you don't call up Dr. Dre, but like, make me a trap beat. Nah, right, for real. Yeah, you call Dr. Dre, get a Dr. Dre. Yeah, Dr. Dre. You call him Metro Boomer. I want a Metro Boomer beat. Take Keith, I want to take Keith beat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You don't want to try to sound like that. You know what I'm saying? You can be influenced. You, you can, you can, you know what I'm saying. You can pick brains and stuff. You can be influenced, but don't, don't, don't have a style that sounds like a whole other producer. Right, 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 right. You see what I'm saying? So it's like that's crazy that you say that because it's like. I only see so much from a producer's point of view, like what you're saying, because I ain't know you think about that. Like, if you making all tight beats, yeah. it's like, what can you do yourself without what tight beats? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I embrace the versatility. Like, man, I'm making, bro, I can play beats. I can play a beat, a few beats. And <laughs> you be like, damn, you made this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm very versatile, bro. Yeah. I, I don't just have one style. Like, I, I don't know. It's, I can't stick to one style. That's why it's like it's hard for me. I have a YouTube, but I don't post beats on that like that no more. Cause I say on YouTube, like find one style or one artist that you wanna make beats for. Right. But it's like I make so many, it's hard to do that. Right. I feel just saying, man. Like yeah, it's based off. You know what I'm saying? I make beats based off what I feel like. Oh, I feel like doing an R&B uh, beat today. Right. I feel like doing a drill beat today. I feel like doing a trap beat today. Yeah. I might do a pop beat today. You know what I'm saying? It, Based on, um, I made beats based on how I feel that day. Right. I remember a while ago, you were posting your TikToks on your Instagram and shit, and like how you would like do like little skits and shit like yeah. that. Like, oh, oh, that was on, uh, you talking about my, the, the trailer. Yeah, the trailers, yeah, the trailers, not the TikToks, the trailers, yeah. bro. Them hoes are so funny to me. Yeah. He was like, save the money to buy my own beats. Yeah. <laughs> I was counting the money on the table. Yes, bro. Them hoes was funny, bro. Yeah. I'm like, damn, bro, like, what happened to bro Trillers? Them was funny, though, bro. Nah, my homeboys, you know what's crazy? I told you. What's that? I caught COVID. And then, oh, yeah. And then, and then, like, I have no idea, bro. Because I had COVID for, like, a few weeks. And then, then I just stopped. And then after COVID, I just never, I just haven't went back. I do need to get back to that because people like to see people's faces. Yeah, for real, though. And, and, and that's why I do that, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and make it entertaining. Y'all, we finna get ready to pull back up to where we was at. And I'm gonna come back and get to y'all when we park. We just got back to the spot, y'all. Finna get ready to go in. I'm gonna come back. What you end up uh, getting, Dawson? Lemon pepper wings. Ah, hey, pepper. Did you open your garage? Mm -hmm. I think, oh, they put them up right there. Oh, and I got the lemon pepper wings with some veggie sticks. Veggie sticks. Yeah, this has my own first time eating it. Let me get a thumbnail real quick for the camera. Yeah, appreciate you coming to grab me, bro. Mm -hmm. Really finna take the wings so, though. This is my first time eating today, y'all. So look, I wanted to ask you though, bro. I, I, I like starting off this question because it's like you identify a person by their name anyway. So. Mm -hmm. How did, how did you get your name? I actually changed my name multiple times. Really? Let's go back. Cause back in the day, I, I was rapping before I became a producer. What? Yeah. What did you say, nigga? I was rapping. Yeah, this is new to me too. Yeah, I, I was rapping. Wait, how far may you want to go? You want to go back like to when I started rapping or? I want, I want to hear that. Yes, I want to hear that. And everybody that rock with you, I'm pretty sure if they ain't know, they want to know right now. So I'm starting in high school. I want to say around my sophomore year. Right. Right? I was on the bus one time. First off, I've always been in the music. You know what I'm saying? My older brother, he got me into it. Like, he's the reason why I'm I, I'm a big fan of, like, you know, Tupac and Biggie and all that. Right. But anyways, he was on the bus. And my, my little brother was talking to this uh, Hispanic dude. They're talking about music. Right. You know what I'm saying? Talking about rapping all that. He had a little studio. Mm -hmm. And then um, we got off the bus. I was joking. I said, hey, bro, hey, I'm trying to come through too. Hey, I can rap. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's like, all right, man, pull, pull through, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, you know, I'm actually pull through. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know the crazy thing? Mm -hmm. I still got that. First, I still got my first song. 
the songs you talking about that you went, you was playing, but you was for real about. That's all. Yeah. The, the first song I did with this man do, I got it somewhere. Like, like, yeah, I keep all, I keep all the songs. Right. But yeah, did that. That's what I'm looking, as I'm listening to it now. It's trash, because it's like, it's your first song. Right, right, right. Oh, this shit trash. <laughs> but yeah, so, went over there, recorded the song. First off, it was, it was difficult, bro. Right. It was difficult for me, reading off of a paper and then trying to spit into the mic. Right, right, that's, right. That's, it was very hard for me, but right. over time, you get used to it. Matter of fact, it was easier to memorize your music. Right. Way easy. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, it's that's, what, that's, what, yeah, that's what Jay-Z, Biggie, that's what that's what they all used to do. Right. And after the song was so over, he's like, what's your rap name? I didn't have a rap name. Okay. <laughs> uh, they call me Mr. Unknown. We just went out there. Yeah. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm a, I, I, I was a huge fan of Biggie. Right. And he said something in the line, I'm the East Coast overdoser. And I yeah. was like, I'm going to call myself the East Coast overdoser. I thought, because, you know what I'm saying? I used to think Detroit was on the East Coast. Right. It's not. I was like, nah, I'm not on the East Coast. Then I went to overdosing. And I was like, okay. Because, you know, I'm like, I, I don't do drugs or nothing, so I get half my music. Right. And I was like, oh, I want something different. So I changed it to King Dosa. Right. I made Dosa stand for something, which is, Dosa stands for Development of Sound Art. Okay. Beat making, and beat making is, a, is an art. Right. With sounds. Right. You see what I'm saying? So that, that's how I came across King Dosa. Right. And I just kept it. So, let me ask you this, to ask you this. Do you also engineer, or do you just make beats? I did, I did learn years ago though. Right. Cause, old dude, um, my Mexican homeboy, boy, he was cool, like, we, so, we was so cool, he left me in the crib by myself while he went to like, Mexico. Uh, and I was recording, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Me, his sister was there too, you know what I'm saying? And the trust, right. that's how much trust we had, like, you, right. you was willing to leave me, leave me there with your sister. Right. <laughs> We all uh, you know, like your equipment and stuff too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He taught me how to do that. Right. And then, um, yeah, I was on the engineering, you know what I'm saying, for me. But, but other than that, no, I, I currently don't. I, I, I will actually have to relearn that stuff, so. So, the same dude, he let you be in his house when he was in Mexico, it's the same dude you recorded your first song with. Mm hmm. Do you still talk to him today? No. Oh, years. Uh, Matter of fact, one time he just disappeared off the face of the earth. I know he was at. On the phone, he was in jail. Well, yeah, it'd be like yeah. three years. Damn. Well, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, I ain't supposed to have him in a while, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know, I don't know what he doing now. He got me in the beat making too. Yeah. So. Yeah, he got me in the beat making too. So I, I was gonna ask you, what made you start producing the pretty much the homework? Mm hmm. Okay. He started it. I was like, I, I was, I'm gonna learn this. You see what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. I was always on and off with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I mess around. I ain't taking it serious to like 2018. Right. No, 2019. Yeah, 2019. Right. Because a, a year later, that's some COVID here. Mm -hmm. So, I went up and asked you too. Originally, where was you from? Mm -hmm. But you said you was born in Detroit? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hey, what's up, though, bro? Mm -hmm. And how long, when you uh, first came to Texas? I want to say 06. Yeah, 06. So you done been out here for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, thing is. How you like it then, bro? Since you done been out here that long, how you like, how you like it? Oh, yeah, I'm going to live now. Of course, when you first move down, it's like, it's like it's a new, it's a new area. It's like, uh, I was like, damn, I ain't home. Right. To be real, bro, I like when my mom was gonna move to Texas. I'm mm -hmm. thinking horses and hay, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> I didn't think y'all had no cities. Yeah. Horses, like horses, how y'all got around? I had a cousin. He used to, uh, he used to make fun of me. He said, boy, them country people gonna beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
bro, that's so funny because I be thinking like, bro, I wonder if people just think it's just hay and horses. Yeah, bro. <laughs> if you don't stay here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's hay. <laughs> it's like very country. Man. Uh, when's the last time you went back uh, to Detroit? I went back in 2012, but it was for my brother's uh, ceremony because he got he was killed up there. Uh, Ever since then, I ain't been back since. Yeah. And I got I got family didn't want me to come back up there because they want to see me. Right. Well, yeah, 2012. That's crazy, bro. My condolences too, by the way. So. How long you actually been like pretty much like doing music, like rapping, making beats, like how how like how what year did that start? I won't say how old was you, but what year did that start? I can't tell you. Yeah, I don't know. I just know it's my sophomore year in high school. I was like a sophomore year in high school. I'm 32 now. Mm. Damn, what? 17? We're out of age for sure. But. I'm pretty sure. I ain't gonna say you mastered your craft because I mean you can never learn it. Mm -mm. But <clears throat> keep going. Mm-hmm. Keep going as long as you know exactly what you're doing though for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's definitely a good skill to pick up for that long though, bro. Like, like you said, you can really teach a class on that shit. Like the way that mm -hmm. you know, stuff that you know, you know what I'm saying? The crazy thing is, I don't know if this is one of your questions, but I learned off YouTube. Like everything you know now, mm -hmm. I'll be too. Mm -hmm. The homie, he, he got it started, but to like get into it, learn stuff, mix and mess, all that, YouTube. Right. Anybody can do it. You just gotta be willing to sacrifice all that time. Yeah. You're not gonna learn it in one night. Mm -mm. What? No. Not a week. <laughs> no. Not a month. Like you said, that should take time. Mm hmm. So, I wanted to ask you too. Who are some of your biggest influences when it comes to music? Like, will it be making a rapper? I know you said a few names really, but outside of those, or if it is those people, I just still want to know. So, I mean, actually, on that question, you gotta do two. Cause, you know what I'm saying? I, I've, I've, I've been on both sides. Right. So rapping, like I said, Tupac, Biggie. Okay. I'm just gonna name my top five. Bro. Actually, my third one, is it my third one? Yeah, my third one is tied. Tied? It's tied between two rappers. I, I know it's 50-50. I know people are like, you can't do that. Well, I'm doing it. <laughs> God damn it. Tupac, <laughs> Biggie, Nas, and Jay Z is tired. That's some heavy hitters, bro. Yeah. And then I had Eminem. You know what I'm saying? That's I another heavy hitter. I grew up listening to Eminem. And my last one is um, Tech Nine. Because I'm, in, I'm into the fast rap. Yeah. So it's because of him. See, Tech Nine and Twister, to be, to be exact. Yeah. And producers, Les Luger. He got me some trap. Okay. Kanye. Got me into sampling. Wow, that's some different shit. Dr. Dre, just Dr. Dr. Dre. Dre. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real, Dr. Dre. Juicy J, I love his beats. Yeah, I love Juicy J beats. I can agree with you on that. And the last one was pretty hard, but I had, I had to had to go off of who who was I listening to more. Right. So my last one is that a Metro Boomin or Zaytoven? I had to go, I gotta go with Zaytoven. Because I was listening to a lot of Gucci and, and, who, and who produces a lot of his songs. Zaytoven! Yeah. <laughs> so, like, yeah. So, Zaytoven. as y'all all know, if y'all don't watch my channel, y'all some crazy people, if y'all don't know, mm -hmm. I stay in Dallas. So, one of the biggest artists coming out of the city right now is Trap Boy Freddy. Mm -hmm. So, I want to ask you, how did you end up linking up with Trap Boy Freddy and doing a song with him? If y'all ain't know, Dunce got a song with Trap Boy Freddy. Mm -hmm. Not him rapping though, y'all. No, not <laughs> he rap. made a beat. Not rapping. He made a beat. Yeah. <laughs> but how that happened though, bro? 
first off, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, it's always important to have, like, you know what I'm saying, good people on your team. Cause I like, I got that through my homeboy. Like, uh, I guess Trap was asking for beats, and you know what I'm saying. They posted, uh, they posted an uh, email on, on their story, and my homeboy he forwarded it to me. Mm -hmm. He's like, hey, Trap asked for beats. So that, that's how I happened. I sent, I sent him a whole lot of beats. You see what I'm saying? See, the process it takes a little time. Right. I just hate waiting because I'm like, damn, did you use it or didn't you use it? Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, I didn't find out till like months later, bro. Like eight, probably six months, eight months. Damn. You see, yeah. So, so what they do? You send them beats, and they just rap on them. Right. Yeah. I think they sort it, and, and then they sort which ones they want on the album. Right. 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 You know what I'm saying? Right. So he probably rapped on a couple of my beats. Just yeah. Release them. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I, I sent them a few. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, that was one of the songs he took and he chose. He got a music video to it too. Whoa. Yeah. He, he just he got a lot of music videos, but he he ain't released that one yet. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he, he he told. Matter of fact, yeah, I talked to him. On, I spoke to him on the phone. Spoke yeah. to Trap on the phone. I was up there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He told me he's like, yeah, I, I even got a music video to it. Bro. That's crazy, bro. Like. Y'all on Trap Boy Freddy album Distractions. Mm -hmm. Dose is definitely featured on his project as a producer. Like, y'all need to go check it out. If y'all ain't know that, go see how Dose and Trap linked up and what they did for the city. If you could collab with two artists and one producer, like on one album, who would they be? Come on. Two artists, they on this album, and you and this other producer produced, engineered this entire album. Who is it? Like, let's just say it was a little baby and little dark voice of the hero type situation, mm -hmm. or something like mm -hmm. that. What two artists you gonna pick? Damn, bro, that's kind of hard. A good question. I listen to so much music. So much music. It's too bro. many artists. It's too many artists. Like, I, like I, I don't now. Like, I didn't listen, as long as the music sound good. I listen to anybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I was on that new dirt. Kodak. Mm -hmm. I ain't heard that money bag yet. Yeah. So. All right, producer. It might be, it might be, it might be, yeah, it depends on what mood I'm in, too. Yeah, for real. I, it, I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Metro. Metro? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Metro. Metro, where yeah. you at? Okay, that's definitely yeah. a reliable, mm -hmm. I can see that happening. Can't nothing go wrong with that. Cause like you say, you versatile, he is too. Mm -hmm. So both of y'all can really be clashing on how y'all want to go. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. That's some, that's some heavy shit right there, bro. And the artist? Definitely right here it is. How many artists? Two. We gonna give them, nah, y'all, yeah, we ain't gonna give them three artists. We gonna just, two, mm -hmm. two people, two people, two people. Give me dirt. Another versatile person too, and what he does. Give me Dirk, since we ain't heard this, give me Dirk in 21. Mm -hmm. Bro, Dirk? Dirk 21 Savage. 21, Dosa, and Metro? Mm -hmm. God, that's a Southern classic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all hear me? Drake 21 and Metro, if y'all see this, and I know y'all gonna see this, don't act like y'all don't see it though, cause I know y'all gonna <laughs> see it. And y'all can throw me on the song too, know what I'm talking about, but no, why not bro, make it happen? Bro, know what I mean? Like, I mean, I mean, if y'all follow him, you, you heard his music. If you, if you follow him, like, yeah. If you bro. haven't, <laughs> it's a, that boy had a different sound in Dallas, bro. Appreciate you, y'all. I mean, appreciate a you too, bro. Sound. Man, bro. Real, bro. 
I ain't gonna lie though, that just fucked me up with what you had said though with that 21 Dirk and Metro and you, bro. Like, mm -hmm. that's some crazy ass shit, mm -hmm. bro. Cause it's like, y'all can go either way with this shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. this would be some hard shit. I'll buy a physical CD of that, and I don't do that oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll buy a physical mm -hmm. CD of that shit, bro. Like, the physical mm -hmm. copy of it, bro. So, who is your favorite artist? Why? Like right now? Right now. Somebody is doing something right now. Damn, because it always, I always went to Kendrick Lamar. But he's seasoned. I, I, I have to go to somebody else. He, he pretty seasoned. Kendrick is a hard artist though, bro. Yeah. I always said Kendrick, but it was like he's been in he's been in the game, so like so so I wanna look for a new artist. And I've heard so many, bro. I mean, there is a lot of people that are making music right now. Good music though too, not just mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that's legit making good music right now. Shout out to everybody doing good music. Mm -hmm. There's alright. The rapper I came across, his name, I think his name, his name Didi Osama. You heard, you heard of him? From Chicago? No. No? That's what I thought. He's from New York. Crazy thing, crazy thing is, he has a song with uh, Zay. Zay Osama. Zay Osama? Yeah. He has a song on New York. Yeah. New York. That shit sound familiar as hell, bro. He a drill rapper, but the way he does it, he's very versatile. Yeah. Like he, he has drill songs where you he heard, he heard the New York rappers like when they're young. Me and my nigga, me and my nigga be coming together. Yeah, <laughs> she does like because I, I was confused. Like yes, he has, he has <laughs> like three different styles. Yeah. He does that, mm -hmm. and he has like smooth drill. Yeah, kind of R and B and R and B ish. What? Yeah, so it's like a mixture. His name, his name Dee Dee Osama. Like, I came across him. He hard. His tape was hard. And who else? Look out for him. Yeah, DD or something. I'm definitely gonna have to check out for him, bro. Let me say smooth drill. Mm -hmm. RB drill. That's crazy, bro. But this is the question that I've been waiting to ask you know, when I was telling you mm -hmm. about earlier when you was like, you don't know when you made that beat earlier. Mm -hmm. How many beats do you say or do you think you have in your catalog right now, bro? Total. Based off the website, I say it's like over 400. But I have beats that I never posted, so maybe more than that. Like, I mean, like, not like, not even like on your YouTube channel, like on your laptop. Like, beats that you got right now that you can pull up. Even if you ain't posted them, like, on your socials, like, beats that you just got you never posted or you just made the beat one time and never looked back. Like, total. This laptop, to be real, I had to, I had to delete some stuff. Cause it's a small laptop and I was running out of the room. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that laptop, my old one, oh my God. But this one, nah. So more than likely, like everything you see in, in, in the, on the website, right. like, well, over 400. Oh, okay, okay. Cause that's where really everything gonna remain at anyway. Like, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. So yeah, bro, uh, 400 beats though. Like yeah. that's, that's, that's a lot of beats, bro. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of beats. But what's one of your biggest pet peeves, like outside of doing music? Well, really, doing music and not doing music. What's some of your biggest pet peeves, like on both ends? Doing music, wasting time. Yeah. Don't waste my time. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You try to do business, do business. Don't waste my time. Business at the end of the day. Yeah. Just business. At yeah. The end of the day. Don't waste time. Yeah. Outside, dirty. People being dirty. Yeah. Yeah, I could definitely dig that though. Just trying to stay with a dirty ass person or something like mm -hmm. that, bro. Like, mm -hmm. getting in somebody's car that's dirty, like, mm -hmm. or something like that. That's nasty. Mm -hmm. like, that's disgusting, bro. Like, bro, let me be real. This is the first time I ate in my car. What? Yeah. 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 This is the first time I ate in my car. Yeah. This shit. Nice and delicious, too, y'all. 
We got this big ass sunroof and the whole time we were riding, I done felt the cool seats on. Yeah. So like it ain't even just cold in here, but it's yeah. like we good in here. Only Miles was on that first. I was like, oh, he gonna stay over there. Let me turn his on. Yeah, only Miles is on. Yeah. All that comes so in handy in Texas now. Yeah. I'm thinking about getting my windows tinted. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. Get yeah. all that heat out of there. Yeah, yeah. bro, for sure. Then I wanna ask you too. What's your favorite album of all time? Ah oh, shit. Here we go again. Only one, y'all. That's gonna be hard, bro. That's you, hard. You wanna come back to it? Too many genres. It is. That's what I'm saying. Like, but I don't know, bro. You might have to. You wanna come back to that later, or so? Uh, yeah, like, <laughs> that's a broad question. <laughs> Cause it, it'll be easier if you buy your 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 favorite trap album of all time. I can do that. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm R and B album of all time. I can do that. Just, just one album. What's your favorite album that came out? Your favorite rap album? Whatever, if it's trap, regular rap, singing rap, whatever, like, within the last five years, what's been your favorite album? Yeah, five years. The last five years. So, what's been, we in 23, 2018. Something that came out since 2018, like, what more recent? <laughs> the last five years, I can easily say Kendrick. Yeah. But what album was that? No, you ain't talking about damn. See, that was 2018. That's that's further back. That was before 2018. That's further back. Damn. Yeah, yeah, damn in 2018. It can't be. No, it's not. Video, y'all, when it came out, what year it came out, y'all. That's crazy. Yeah, for real. 2018, before that, damn. damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lame <lying> tonight. <laughs> mm. But that's the only that's the only album I can think of right now, though. We're just. Stick a pen in there. Yeah. On that Kendra, on the Kendrick album. If you want to change it before the end, I'm gonna let you change it. Mm -hmm. But once you drive out, bro, we gonna that's your favorite album, bro. The last five years, we gonna mm -hmm. have to we gonna have to stick on that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what's your favorite food though? For all time, something you can eat every day without getting tired of it. Like you can eat it literally every day, bro. Mm -hmm. No diet. So no diet. I'm gonna take the diet out of it and make it easier. Okay. Mm. 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 It might be Chinese food, bruh. What? It was, a point, it was a point in time I went on a Chinese food, bruh. I love fried <laughs> rice. I think, I think it's Chinese food, bruh. Chinese food. Anything specific in the category of Chinese food? It's like fried rice, chicken fried rice, yeah, beef fried rice. I, I, I don't do the shrimp, yeah, yeah. I, I, bro, but it's fried rice though for sure. I was eating it every day. Yeah, <laughs> I think Chinese food. Like, yeah, this nigga versatile on all angles. Mm -hmm. I ain't think you're gonna say nothing like that. And I, and I eat with chopsticks. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look at them hoes crazy. I ain't never even picked none up before y'all. Mm -hmm. I ain't never even seen no chopsticks in real life. I don't think like. Yeah, I'm gonna say Chinese food. That's an interesting answer, though, bro. That's mm -hmm. different. You can do so much with Chinese food, bro. Yeah, you really can. I wasn't going to say pizza, but I get tired. I would get tired of that. Beano! <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite food. Yeah. If I eat pizza, I will eat pizza every day for the rest of my life until I leave this life, y'all. Like, I love pizza. Like, pizza? Yeah. I 
think I get tired of pizza. Chinese food, you can get very versatile. <coughs> you right about that though. You get very versatile with Chinese food. You right though. There's a lot of shit you can get though, mm -hmm. like for Chinese food though. Mm -hmm. So when you're not doing music or you're not doing like working or whatever you're doing, what do you like to do in your free time as like a hobby or something like that? I like movies. Okay. I go see me a movie. Okay. I like working out. Okay. I like sports betting. Okay. That's, that's probably it. That ain't too bad, though. That's probably it. No, that sports bed, no, that's, that's real, like, in high demand right now, too, though. But they're trying to, it's not like, we can't, we, we, oh, no, my bad. That's <laughs> um, all good. Texas, they're trying to make it legal, because it's not really legal here. Right, 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 they're right, pushing right. to make it legal. Yeah. It's like, man, it's so where, bro, like, everywhere else you can do it. Yeah, it's like, yeah, really, man? why not? What's yeah. stopping y'all to just pass that bill? So you mean tell me you're going to let people leave your state to go to a whole other state? state. And let, you gonna let them take take your money pretty much, like money that y'all be making. Yeah, yeah. So, so they talking about it. As far as the sports betting and stuff, though, they kind of lead me to ask, who you think finna win this championship? Man, I'm gonna have to say the Heat. Cause I made a bet on the Heat with somebody at work. You know, that man done put his money where his mouth was, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna do, but he's like, he's like, man, Denver is over, Denver guy. I said, no. I like, put money on. It. He said, put twenty on it. Yeah. And I, I couldn't say no because it's like, you talking about this team? Yeah, what yeah. you gonna do? How much I, you? Yeah. Yeah. I said that he gonna win. I'm like, damn. Boy. All right. Cool. Well, y'all, I will be posting this video again the Ooh. day that whoever wins, because y'all heard him say he going with the Heat. Heat. Mm -hmm. So. I ain't gonna say nothing, y'all. Jimmy B. I ain't gonna say nothing, B. Jimmy Buckets. My final question. Mm -hmm. If you stuck on the island, even you can only bring three things on the island, and you already got food and water, what is it? I'm assuming no electricity, right? No electricity. I already got my food and water? You already got your food and water, but you know what? I'm gonna go on. You got three things with electricity, three things without right, electricity. Right, that's cool. Without electricity, three, three things. Without the electricity, three things. Work out equipment. Okay. I already got my food, so nutrition's not a problem. Okay. I'm gonna have to read. You throwing down some 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 legit stuff, yeah. some different stuff too, yeah, right man. there, bro. It's like it's a, damn near like you in jail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me work out of the My nigga getting jazzed yeah. up. <laughs> give, me a, give me a book. <laughs> a book is a workout here. Oh, man. What's your last island in the city with no electricity? I, mean, I, I don't want to say clothes, but that's automatic, right? I mean, you going to whatever what your last outfit was, that's the last outfit you pretty much going to be stuck with unless you going to rip off some leaves and some branches and stuff pretty much, but you really stuck in your last outfit. Unless you want to bring clothes, that'd be your third thing. Wash it and dry? No, no. <laughs> uh, no electricity. <laughs> mm. It might be, bro. I'm trying to think. Cause clothes, I, I, I need, I need some clothes. Bro. Cause you said your first, really your first two, like off the muscle, bro. Like yeah. you said them hoes like that. <laughs> Damn, bro, clothes. Clothes, fuck it. Yeah, just, just a few. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no wrong with it though, I mean, why not, why not be on your, you know what I'm saying, on your best, on the island, you know mm -hmm. what I mean, why not? So what you bringing if you got the electricity, you got a long ass extension cord, what you finna plug up in there? I'ma have my phone, that's, that's, that's no brainer. Right. Laptop. 
Right? Okay, makes sense. Stole. <laughs> I got good. <laughs> Hey, hey, if I'm on the island, I'm going fishing, bro. Stole. You, you're right, though. This smart, though. You ain't going to have to start that fire and worry about this. You can have, have some Give me the stove. man made, man made mm -hmm. stuff. I'll take that stove. Those some, 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 some bad ass answers, man. Give me that stove. But them, that's how I was talking my question, bro. But I got to ask you one more thing, though, before you leave. Mm hmm. Y'all want to see Dosa cook up a, a beat on the spot real quick before y'all leave or what? Because oh, I know man. I want to see it. Oh, What's he trying to do? What are you doing? Y'all, I'm finna go on, you know what I'm saying? See what he finna do in this quick momentary thing so y'all can see y'all self just as much as I can see as myself what he can do in this quick moment of time. So we finna be right back and he finna have it set up real quick in the car. While we in the car too, yeah, like ain't no, he finna do it right here. Mm -hmm. So we finna be right back. And we finna see what those are finna do real quick. How long you say you think this cook this took you to uh, cook up real quick? As, as long as we was just sitting right here, how long you think this? Bro, I don't was? think it was ten minutes. Bro, that wasn't even ten minutes, y'all. This nigga just made this whole like less than ten yeah, minutes, bro. It definitely like, was ten minutes. Burley might be over five, bro, yeah, but like definitely was. not over ten, y'all. Like, bro, yeah. he just cooked this beat up in less than ten fucking minutes, y'all. I I am, I am. Level it, mix it. I ain't, I ain't, I didn't even do nothing to it, and it still sounded. It good. still sound good. Mm -hmm. He just look like literally just sat here mm -hmm. and just pieces together right here in front of me, in front of y'all too. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't cut out nothing. Like all I did was flip the camera pretty much. Like that was like not even like barely five minutes, bro. Like yeah, if y'all need any beats, minor engineering work, I would say. Y'all get at my dog. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. One of the hottest coming out the city. We done linked up today in this Texas heat. You know what I mean? Make shit happen. So, that being said, y'all can do the same. Get off y'all ass. I don't never say nothing bullshit on my channel. So, with that being said, bro, that beat was fire as hell, bro. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that, bro. Yeah, bro. Appreciate you coming to come grab a nigga, oh, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker fuck with me, y'all. Y'all see, I ain't got to do too much driving, you know what I mean? I get picked up, I mean. But you know, shit, that just come with a clean face card. But shit, I appreciate y'all tuning in for this video, bro. Me and Dustin finna get ready to, you know what I'm saying, end this video pretty much. Y'all subscribe to my channel, subscribe to his channel, follow him on Instagram and all social media platforms. King Dose, just type in King Dose, I'll pop up, pop up. It's gonna pop up, you know what I'm saying? King Dose. Me as well, y'all follow both of us on social platforms. It's gonna be right here, or I'm pretty sure y'all done seen it early in the video somewhere. But bro, appreciate you again for pulling up, man, making that fresh beat on the spot for me, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one, bro. And, you know what I'm saying? Y'all tap in. Peace.